when we were on a road trip and we stopped at Olive Garden. It's like dinner time. It's a packed in there. And Coach Lyle stands up. When Lyle stopped both vans to oh, make us get out and take a picture. He was going like this in front of everybody and Maddie's like crying. Jump <laughs> in the cord. All right, slowly, a couple of girls. Start Let's go, a couple at a time. Stay there, stay there, stay in the picture, stay in the picture. Children of the core. Yeah, Mississauga. Mississauga, yeah, that was a good game. One of my favorite games from the year was uh, the game before the Mississauga game. When you guys played Mississauga and I was on the stands just watching. Leah scored and I was on the ice and I just tapped with her. We came back and then we won in overtime with 0.1 seconds left. We were so close as a team that game. And we played our best and it was fun to play. I actually stopped playing that game. Yes, didn't that happen? We won a lot of state tournaments, but I can't just pick one. The seven overtime game. That long seven overtime game. Oh, seven overtime game. We won in seven overtimes. <laughs> Tell me about the seven overtime game. What are your thoughts? It's like terrible and I'm still bitter about it. He'll like throw his stick in the air. Now that looked like Ow! I think you'd win. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fill up the water bottle! Okay, forwards over here and demons over there. Nice job, boy. Get to the net. Forwards need to go in wide and hard and fast with speed. It's not my job to pump you up, boys. We can stay with any team. <laughs> We're better than this team, but I know they're gonna beat us. You know, girls, swearing is a crutch for a weak mind. We are not a great team. You know, like Mr. Rapp says, they're not here, we don't need them. I knew we were ready to play this game. I knew it. I could see it before the game. I don't pay attention, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most important lesson Coach Al, Coach Kevin, or Coach Chelsea has taught you? Coach Kevin taught me that making a breakfast sandwich at hotels, you have to be clean, otherwise you get made fun of. Probably less is more. Because, like, it is. <laughs> when I was in the hospital, it meant a lot to me when um, I was on the phone with Chelsea. The coach Kev was awesome. It was really nice um, talking to a familiar person. He's just so positive all the time, so it, like, really helps. I like Coach Kevin because he keeps things positive. Chelsea's that, like, hard-ass but funny, sarcastic person that I love. Chelsea, you know what? I can see you in the army someday. She knows my full potential, so she has no problem telling me what I need to work on. Coach Chelsea has taught me that um, half of any battle is believing in yourself. I was like fine when I ran Coach Styles when I got sick and cold. It's really hard being the coach's daughter, but I'm glad that it's something that we got to do together. He came over on the bench and sat next to me and told me I didn't have to play, even though I wanted to. I'm sad that it's over. That was pretty cute. Thank you for the chance of letting me be back on this team. I've had a great time the past two years. Thank you for putting up with me for the last eight years. 
and helping me become the person I am today. Thank you for helping me become a better hockey player. For giving me the opportunity to meet 17 of my best friends in the world. For being there for me over the years. For helping me become the best version of myself. Thank you for all the memories. Thank you for making these last years memorable and making the player in today. Thank you for creating an atmosphere that felt like a family. We've been on a lot of different teams, like uh, Happywear, Icebreakers, Caesars, Victory Honda, Bell Tire, No Buy House. <laughs> I'm happy that I'm came Honey Baked over any other team when I first started to play because we're a good, hard-working, winning team and I made a lot of good friends. We're all happy I ended up here at um, Honey Baked and we had a great past two years. It's finally come like, or felt like home, so I'm really glad yeah. that we came here. It was probably the best decision we could have made. Although this year has been full of ups and downs, downs and ups, we just wanted to thank you for all that you have done. Work that, work it. If you had to get one coach's name tattooed on you, who's would it be? Kevin, because he's my favorite. <laughs> Sorry, that's your dad. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity to be in the Honey Baked Bar. Yeah. It's okay, keep going, keep going. Sweet, so we gotta finish it early. <laughs> that was a good job. Is it louder? Hey, chocolate. <laughs> That's gross. All right, do you have one? <laughs> hey, honey. Ups and downs. I, I don't know what you want me to do. The footwork. Living in a lonely world. Yeah. You took the midnight train going anywhere. Go. 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 My friend!